Hey guys, this is Tim speaking from Skyrocket, the Eloquence um, Strategy Consulting channel. Um, today we're going to go over uh, quite a simple and classic strategy framework called Vrio. I think most of you guys have heard of it. Um, Vrio is a uh, strategy analysis uh, framework uh, focused on analyzing the key resources and features of a given organization. Um, so you can uh, then uh, see if it's a sustainable competitive advantage or not um, for your company. So here on my screen, you can see the actual framework, which I have um, adapted in two ways uh, for you to use. One simple version with um, a yes or no on the different letters, Vrio, V-R-I-O, I'll get into this afterwards. Another one, which is slightly more quantitative, enabling you to fine tune the different levels you're at for each of these letters. So the, the Vrio framework, a bit of history to start, um, was developed by um, a guy named uh, Jay Barney, who's professor at the University of Utah uh, in strategic management uh, in a paper called Firm Resources and Sustained Competitive Advantage uh, in 1991. Um, he, for the little story, he originally called it Vrin and renamed it Vrio in a subsequent 1995 work um, called Looking Inside for Competitive Advantage. Um, so while many other uh, more analytical, quantitative resource-based view models exist, uh, the Vrio analysis framework is appreciated for its clarity and simplicity. As you can see, nothing very complex here. Um, so the starting point is to define what you call a feature or a resource. Um, uh, tangible and tangible um, and um, as Think Insights uh, defines it, it's uh, all assets, capabilities, organizational processes, firm attributes, information and knowledge uh, controlled by the given firm uh, um, that enables it to improve its efficiency and effectiveness. Um, so examples of people, uh, patterns, equipment, certifications, buildings, leaders, primary goods, knowledge, know-how, etc. The principle of the very framework is to analyze each of these uh, resources during a f with a four step process. V asking the question, is it valuable? R is it rare? I is it hard to imitate? And O is the firm organized around it. If you get all four, so say you have a sustainable competitive advantage. If you only have three, it's an unused competitive advantage. So you need to work on uh, organizing the firm around it. If you only have two, um, it can be a temporary competitive advantage, meaning your competitors can easily imitate uh, the resource that you have. Uh, you also have the case where uh, you have a realized tem temporary competitive advantage, so it's there, you organize it, but it's you're going to be caught up quite soon. And if you only have one, uh, you're in competitive par parity, meaning, uh, well, it's easy for everyone to replicate it. It is valuable, uh, but no one's going to differentiate it with it. And of course, if... Um, uh, if you have something which is not valuable for you, it's actually a competitive disadvantage, something historic you're kind of keeping up with. So in the um, page that I have on, on Eloquence, which you can see on my screen just now, I have detailed each of the four letters, so you can kind of have a look at, at what it means. Um, my advice is to use the methodology that I have built here um to go through it so you'll see it's a very simple process define your resources uh, for each letter qualify each feature resource there you are one by one um, of course if you use template two uh, you can score each uh, letter from zero to four um, and based on the conversation input the competitive result change your different parameters and logos and you'll be good. So an example here is what I did with Eloquence, which is the platform we were sharing this on. Uh, we kind of identified there were two sustainable competitive advantages, the author community and the quality of the platform itself. Um, on the other hand, uh, there are things which aren't uh, going to probably uh, keep the long term, which is um, the monthly traffic. They have a strong traffic. Uh, it's valuable. It's quite rare. Uh, the firms organize around it, but it's hard to imitate. Well, with time, people will, will manage to quite um, uh, in other ways. So not, not uh, the sustainable competitive advantage. 
good luck playing around with this. And like always, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me via private message on eloquence.com and I'd be happy to help. Cheers, guys.